and hit test. Whoa! Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new set of robots. This here is Nibble and this here is Biddle, a robotic cat and a robotic dog made by a company called Pitoy. Now for the longest time, animals are quite messy and having a pet is actually quite difficult. So the good folks over at Pitoy have created essentially an alternative, robot pets. Now these things just turn on and off. You don't have to walk them. You don't even have to clean them. And essentially they're pretty cool looking robots. Now the design concept behind them that these here are robotic kits that you can go ahead and build and on top of that expand. And in this episode here we'll be unboxing ourselves a Biddle as well as building one and seeing exactly what it can do alongside with Nibble. Now if you guys wanted your very own be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado let's go ahead and get started. guys so check it out we have Biddle right over here now this is made by a company called Pet Toy here is an open source bionic robot dog and you can actually kind of see it balancing on someone's hand that's actually really cool to see almost looks like a Boston Dynamics robot but more at a pine size scale now this also includes a curriculum by Tinker John which is cool to see and then it kind of rotated about kind of showcases a little bit more in terms of detail so it shows it says that Biddle is an open source robot that can play tricks like a real animal cool and it's controlled by an Arduino compatible board with rich peripherals it can also be connected to Raspberry Pi and other modules through wired or wireless connections so it does give you the capability to do just about anything so it makes a great companion for a curious mind to explore STEM subjects as well as having fun worldwide so with that said let's go ahead and open this thing up all right so inside here do 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 how sweet so off the back, you do have this lovely looking robotic kit. So you do see some of the body parts on the right, but also shows a card here. Uh, it says find instructions at petsoy.com, join the forum, trick your friends or pets, share fun moments with Biddle. And oh, sweet. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. All right, so here on the left side, we have a lot of different joints and a lot of different pieces, as well as a remote control. Uh, you can program it based off the numbers for certain actions. Uh, we have our Arduino board here, and then we have some body panels too. You can actually see the battery here on the bottom. And in here we have our servo motors. So these here are micro servos. Oh, wow. That is a lot of servos. Two, four, six, eight, ten servos. So these here are 10 micro servos, uh, similar to something that we've seen before, but these look like they're really designed for this robot, especially because it has a picture on there that resembles their logo. So these must be in-house manufactured, which is cool to see, uh, especially with it comes to servos. Now, obviously with a robot like this, it does have a lot of movement, so it should be quite exciting to see. With that said, let's go ahead and build ourselves a robot. All right, so check it out. This here is our final design. Uh, and overall, it actually came out pretty cool looking. Now, there's a lot of components. It's actually a great educational aspect. So it kind of teaches you about robotics as you go. Now, before we go into the robot itself, there's a few different things we haven't really looked at, and that includes the accessories. So obviously, you can go ahead and swap out the different uh, parts. But you also get uh, other accessories, including like a tail, uh, an extra servo, just in case if you need it and a few different accessories including a USB adapter, a Wi-Fi adapter, as well as a Bluetooth adapter. So you have a few different variation of controls that you can use uh, based on what you're trying to achieve. So with that said, let's go ahead and boot up our little guy and see what he can do. All right guys, so we're all set and ready to go. So we can go ahead and turn on our biddle first by simply hitting the power button that's right over here. Uh, this will go ahead and make a boot up process sound. There we are and the robot should go into its awake state. Now what we're gonna do is open up our app. So we have the Petoy app, uh, which we can connect to it via Bluetooth. Now we went ahead and installed the Bluetooth module allowing us to connect to it. So we'll connect to Biddle BLE. And once connected, it'll make a confirmation sound and this will be our control panel. Now the control panel gives us full control over the robot so we can have it walk, we can change its uh, variation of steps and different actions and even create our own customized commands too. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this robot walks. So we'll go ahead and have it stand up. 
There we are. <laughs> uh, and then we can have it walk. So this here is a slow walk, but it kind of shows you how the robot moves. I can have it turn to. So it'll start turning to the left. Um, I can also have it turn to the right. And then like the head will also rotate too, if you haven't noticed. Now we can change it to a step mode. So this here is like a step mode. Um, and then you can have it move forward. Uh, and then this will be more of like a pivot than anything else in terms of control wise. So this here is a crawl. So you can see how it's kind of crawling about. And then we have a trot. <laughs> Again, we can turn it to just like that. Now I can pause it and I can change the speed on the robot. So if I hit fast, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> so the servos are surprisingly very quick and very agile. That is insane. Whew. Uh, and same with the different modes. This is a crawl mode, uh, step mode, walk mode. So fast walk. Right. Back. Forward. So it's actually really cool that you can do all these different actions in terms of speed uh, and in terms of walk mode. So it gives you different functionality. Now I go back into stand mode. Whoa! <laughs> so right now we're still in a fast mode. So we're just gonna go into rest. There we are. So that's our rest animation. Uh, we also have sit. So this is sit. So you'll see the robot kind of like leaning forward with its head up high. Uh, as it's sitting, uh, we have a stretch mode. So this is gonna be a little bit of a stretch. Very nice. Uh, we can have it say hi. So say hi, Biddle. Ah, there is a little wave. <laughs> uh, and we have a P function. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> Let's see that one more time. Ready? Look. Ah, it's doing the classic pose. <laughs> uh, we have a hip up mode. So this is hip up. Uh, so kind of like a yoga pose. Push-ups. All right, let's see Biddle do some push-ups. All right, into formation. One, two, three. All right, three push-ups. Uh, play dead. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, looks like it's trying to rotate. Up. Oh, there, we, there we go. It just even a little quiver. <laughs> and back up again it goes. That was pretty cool. So these are defaulted actions. Now, if I click on customize actions, I can go ahead and create my very own. So if I call this one to say con, I can insert a code and hit test. With that said, uh, they did give me a top secret code uh, to perform on our biddle. Uh, so let's pull that up. So we're changing this to a secret code, which I'm not allowed to share. I don't think I'm allowed to share. And hit test. Whoa! <laughs> that was wicked. Oh my God, and it actually, that came off. They do not recommend this code. So now you can see why. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> yep, now I can see why they don't recommend us using that action because it takes a toll on the robot. But that was actually really, really cool. So thank you to the good folks over at Biddle for letting us see that action. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you can go ahead and create your own custom commands. Uh, as you can already see, you can even create custom commands to do like a backflip. That was absolutely wicked. Uh, so moving back, uh, so we also have settings. So we can calibrate a robot, we can select our robot. So we have the difference between Biddle and Nibble, which we'll be doing in just a little bit. Um, and yeah, that is it in terms of the control moments of the Bluetooth module. Now we also have a physical remote, which is really cool. So you can control the robot like this too uh, and do the certain actions. So you can see him like doing a no. So that is number two. Uh, number three. So looks like it's doing the uh, rollover and playing dead. So 
So we kind of already saw that action and we'll go ahead and complete its action there. There we are, good job. Number four, a uh, little wave, uh, five. Okay, we're doing our push-ups there. Uh, number six, doing uh, a one-legged wiggle. Number seven, bowing down. Number eight, bowing up. Number nine, into the calibration state. So that is actually really cool. And yeah, so that is our Biddle in a nutshell. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab Nibble next, which is another robot that they make, which is it happens to be a robotic cat, uh, which I'm excited to show you too. All right, so up next we have our Nibble, a uh, robotic cat that they also make. Now the unique thing about this particular robot, it's actually made out of wood, and it's like a puzzle piece that you have to build, and it actually looks really cool. You do have an ultrasonic sensor here on the front indicating the eyes of the cat, and you just can see the Arduino board right over there too servos, everything's exposed, really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just went ahead and connected the Bluetooth module here, so we should be able to connect to it via the app. Uh, and then also comes with its own nifty remote, which actually has different graphics display of the actions for this particular robot. So let's go ahead and turn it on by simply hitting the on off button on the bottom here. It should have a boot up process. There we are. So we can go ahead and control the robot with the directional panel on the top here, so I can walk it forward like this. Uh, so this is more of a crawl state that it's currently doing. I can do a walk state. So let's have it stand up. There we go. And now this is more of a walk state. And you can see the way it kind of is moving. It's kind of like almost very natural-like. Now I can also control the speed of it. So if I go back into just the regular walk state, I can make it faster. So this is faster walking. That's cool. So then there's some actions too that we can do. For instance, uh, leaning forward. There we go. So doing a nice little lean forward there. Bending downwards. There we go. And you can see kind of like flexing or stretching at the same time. Uh, leaning upwards. And a little wave. <laughs> uh, and this will be a stretch. There we go. And then doing some push-ups now. Oh, look at that, a little action pose there. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, and then we can go back to sleep mode. So now it's gonna go into, this is like resting. So it's kind of cool that they have all these different actions built into the remote, but let's go ahead and jump into our phone and see what we can do it via Bluetooth. So we're connecting to our Biddle. And do, 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 do. Now it knows that it's nibble, so we're gonna go to the control panel here. Uh, and these here are all different functions. So again, we can control it just like the way we did with the other robot. We can have it walk. Uh, we can have a step, crawl. Uh, so just change the mode and then just start hitting movement and the robot will stand. I can do rest. So this is a rest state, sit state, stretch state, say hi. And then of course, push-ups. So there's a lot more movement with this robot and you can actually kind of see it. It's got a lot more flexation to it. Uh, now you can also have it like walk. So this is forward walk. Uh, we could do crawl. We could do step. We could do trot. Pause it. Uh, now we also can change the speed. So if I go fast, crawl. Stop. So that's actually really cool and hit pause. So I can go and customize commands. Um, I can create my own commands and hit test. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's actually really cool stuff on how they designed this robot. Now, obviously, you know, there's a lot more potential to it, uh, but kind of shows you what you can do with it. And yeah, overall, I have to say both robots are very cool and kind of gives you an idea of what they're about. 
All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, these robots are really, really cool. I have to say, definitely an amazing kit. And if you're looking for something fun to build, this is definitely it. Now, we reviewed a lot of robots. By a lot, I mean literally a lot. And these things are very unique. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're trying to get into robotics. And it's kind of fun to see how you can go ahead and program them. So with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.